What is up guys? Julian Nichols MMA back at you again with another video and today it is just going to be a quick rant about UFC 297. That card is an absolute shocker except for the main event um, and one other matchup of course I will get on to that. The main event Sean Strickland versus Drickus Duplessis. Now that is a very good fight right there. I am having a real hard time picking that when I I really don't know which way to lean. Um, it's going to be a very entertaining matchup. Of course, Drickus, raw power, good grappling and takedowns. Of course, he chinned Robert Whitaker Strickland. Obviously, we all know about his boxing, his defense, and the pace that he puts on people. I'm not hating on the main event. That is the rightful fight that all the fans wanted to see. The co-main event is fucking garbage. I mean, come on, Silva versus Pennington. Nobody wants to see that. And I know they got to get it out the way. Just get it out of the way so that we can move on with that stinker of a division. Those fights are just essentially bathroom breaks. Go get another slice of pizza. You know, go reheat your food or whatever you got to do. Check your phone. Look on Twitter. Because no one's paying attention to that fight. Just like... Nunez versus fucking Aldana after Charles Oliveira versus Dariush. I fell asleep during that because the energy was like here. Absolutely spiked when Charles walked out and fought Dariush and finished him. And then it was literally just insomnia medicine watching the women's title fight. And that's what the women's title fight will be on this Canada card. I don't know why they always punish the Canadian fans. I'm literally looking forward more to the card the fight night card the week prior on UFC Vegas 84 and the other matchups on the card we got Evloev versus Arnold Allen that's going to be an exciting matchup a matchup with actual meaning on it that the fans will want to see I'm looking forward to that one so we got two good fights so far Sean Strickland DDP we got Evloev versus Allen Charles Jourdain, he's an entertaining fighter. He's going to be on the card as well. But oh my God, the rest of the card, Mike Mallett versus Neil Magny. Oh my God, it could not get any more boring than that. Nobody wants to see that. Mike Mallett versus Neil Magny on the Canada pay-per-view. Just because he got a finish on the last one doesn't mean everybody's pulling their fucking hair out. <laughs> Excited to see him fight Neil Magny like the most boring fucking clinch fighter of all time. And I'll have to put it on the screen as well. They literally have a discount to where it's like a you can pre-order it early and save $10. When was the last time the UFC gave any of the fans a discount? Never. I cannot ever remember that on a pay-per-view. That's because they know deep down that they're fucking the fans ever and that they truly don't give a shit. And then we got like Cyril Siri on the car, like the Contender Series graduate not impressive, not captivating whatsoever. Brad Katona, oh my god, Brad Katona, man. That little rat, he's going to be on there. I mean, I don't even hate him as a fighter, but he's just like, he provides no entertainment value. He's kind of stuck up, and it's just going to be a stinker. I don't even know. They shouldn't even have a press conference, to be honest. Like, they might as well cancel it or literally just do Sean and DDP, to be honest. I will get, I will cut him a little bit of slack. Jan Blahovich was supposed to be on this card. He, of course, got injured, had to pull out of his matchup. And I feel bad for him because, you know, it's going to really take a while for him to rebound. But thankfully, we got Yuri and Rakic um, rebooked for UFC 300. So at least Rakic does have an opponent. I was looking forward to that fight on the card. And of course, Dominic, the Flying Dutchman, Reyes was supposed to be on there versus Carlos Olberg. That one fell off as well. The UFC has had a lot of good fights fall off of these pay-per-views and then just getting mixed up in the last couple of years. Like, you know, of course, 294. We had Charles and Paulo Acosta fall off of the card. 293, Kaikawa France fell off of the card. 292, Henry Cejudo fell off of the card. 291, Paulo Acosta, of course, he's always going to pull out. Steven Wonderboy Thompson and Michelle Pereira had to pull out. So those are just some to name a few. 296, Bryce Mitchell and Josh Emmett had to get promoted to the main event because, fuck, what was the fight? 
on 296 that was supposed to be going down, but got canceled. Ian Gary, he was supposed to be fighting and he had to pull out. So a lot of these big matchups have just been falling off and really lowering the value of these cards. So hopefully the UFC can really get it together. Things are looking good because 298 and 299 are stacked to the gills. And let's just hope that they don't flute UFC 300. But that's all I got to say. Just a quick rant about the matchmaking and the card building and these recent matchups that have fallen off of these UFC cards here recently. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you all for watching.